G'day viewers, as so many uh, love our man here and want to keep gone. abreast G'day. with Thanks these terrible, me. terrible, terrible goings-ons. Thank, thanks for letting me back on screens and stuff. You're nice to that. So, um, I got the story. We'll try and give you a condensed one. That, but you have been in hospital. I have been in hospital. Tests? Uh, lots of tests. And Oops, there's some more coming up. They're going to stick a needle in my kidney. Like, they're just going to go scorch right in there and then get a bit of my kidney and then bring it out again. And that's apparently going to hurt. Who fucking knew? That was an awesome first half of a sentence, because with you, they're going to stick a needle in my... The mind just goes everywhere. Where? Like, they Where? could be putting it anywhere. And they have. And the, everywhere. And they have. So it's, it's really like, oh my God, where's it going to be? Are they going to stick it in his dick? Are they going to stick it in his brain? Are they going to stick it in his... No, the kidney. Wow. Okay. All, all of those things have happened, by the way. I know, that's why. <laughs> Um, Various bits have been probed and examined, uh -huh. cut open, yeah. scraped. You know, you're sitting there in the hospital going, some people do this for fun, are you fucking kidding me? Um, so yes, anywho, so. Um, when, and and they said, oh, we, we don't like your tests. And I'm going, well, fuck you, give them to me. Fucking, why are you telling, why I didn't do nothing? And they said, turns out you did. Uh. And, um... I basically said, dude, your kidneys are running at 30% and unless we do sort of something about it, they're not going to work and you're going to die and shit. Yeah. So I've gone, well, that's disappointing. I said, ah, oh, there's more. <laughs> and yeah. I've gone, we're really unhappy with your metabolic rates. And I'm going, well, I, I eat vegetables. And they went, yeah, no. Turns out that the chemicals in your system to make your metabolic rates go are just going away. And you need to drink this a lot. And also, I'm going, fuck, just stop. <laughs> and they're going, also, it looks like your nerves might shut down spontaneously. And I'm going, will that hurt? And they went, no, but it will be fairly final. It'll be quick. Um, so I'm going, whoa, how do we not do that then? They said, well, we'll work that out. And I'm going, work faster. And um, so uh, you essentially have not been very well and have continuing not to be very well. Um, but they're going to do some things uh, to see what they must do to make me not expire. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I mean, I think one of the big reasons the people in medical world get testy with you mm. is they just don't know what's happening. And that <laughs> that makes don't. them uncomfortable. They really don't. I think you were summed up by when you had the big crash with the flesh-eating virus and the dying on tables and organs liquefying and stuff. Crazy day. I think the big one there was the intern who said, we don't usually get to see this in a live patient. Mm. Yes. I think the fact that that has continued to happen for 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. That they keep seeing things in you that they only usually see post-mortem. Yeah. I think it's doing their heads in. It is a bit. I, love, I think it's doing their heads in. I don't know if we spoke about this, but a, a few, oh, a couple of crashes ago, yeah. um, basically, I, uh, the GP said, Fucking get yourself a test. I'm going, yeah. And I've done that. And then I got a phone call in the morning. Now, when I get a phone call in the morning from the GP, it's not great. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, but when I get a phone call from the lab, that's worse. So I got a phone call from the lab. Hey, hey, what are you doing today, mate? Oh, I've got some things to do. I've got to, mate, go see a doctor. And I've gone, oh, really? Yeah, now is good. Now is good. I was going to have a cup of coffee. Really get in a cab. Yeah. And, um, so Don't touch anyone on the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Wear a mask. <laughs> um, and then the doctor calls straight up after. Hey, hey, what are you doing, mate? And I'm going, oh, I was going to come see you. And then he said, don't. Go straight, oh, straight to, to the hospital. hospital. <laughs> I'm going, oh, awkward. He's yeah. going, I'll meet you there. I'm going, worse. Oh. And um, I get in there. And he's done the Masonic handshake with the guys. Because usually at a hospital, you get to wait 12 hours. And that's fine. Because it's free, for fuck's sake. You know, get a grip. Yeah. And then... No, no waiting. Straight. <laughs> I'm going, oh, it's not good. And then adventures were had. No, you know, went into ICU and it was fucked. Um, and but they have a great pharmacy there, and if you lie down in the right bed, you can just see everything, and you get some of it. Um, 
Anywho, um, I found out later that what had happened was the lab had rung up the doctor and said, hey, we can take a joke as best as the next one, but aren't you a bit old for this? And he's gone, what are you fucking talking about? I said, you know, you know, the old joke. And he's gone, no, you know, the old joke of send the dead guy's blood in. And he's gone, I didn't do that. What are you talking about? Well, this patient of yours, this dead guy, Adrian Nancy <laughs> Clare. And he's gone... He's not dead. And the lab apparently was quiet and said, he's not very well. <laughs> <laughs> You're picturing this scene with one of your partner. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead. You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> I'm not dead. Anyway, so a couple phone calls were had. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was an interesting this was, I remember visiting you in hospital occasionally. The other times, you know, when things are bad, you're talking about being able to see their pharmacy when they're all over you and it's like, you know, the head of medicines there and the guys who are being paid $10,000 a day are there. Mm. And they say, like, is there anything to get you? And you say morphine and they say, okay. And then they say, okay, and I go, oh, fuck, I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> they tend to be a bit stingy with that, cautious with it with most patients, but particularly with you. So if you ask for it, and get given it, it's like, oh, 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 that's not as good as it initially seemed. Oh. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah. <laughs> Going away present. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Make him comfortable. Yeah. That's what uh, we can do for him. Yes. So in short, AZ soldiering on. Mm. Uh, in slightly longer, you're going to hear more stories like this because mm. they're going to keep happening. They, they are. They are. I'll, I'll, I'll take you through the, the, the um, uh, what do they call them when they take a pinch of your, your, your stuff? It's a, um, not an episiotomy. That's a whole different operation. Um, uh, not a lobotomy. That's where your brain gets um, shown to you. Um, it's a thing where they take a pinch of flesh. Oh, I forgot what it is, but it's a sample. Anyway, so I'll take you through the kidney uh, punch when that happens. It's not as bad as a spinal punch, which I've had. Uh, yeah. Um, and they whack and they right through your spine. That hurts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know how that goes. So um, that'll be the next big story. That'll be the next big story. And, um, that's all looking like it'll happen fairly soon. So, yeah, we'll keep you appraised. and um, Thanks for letting me on your screens and stuff. I really appreciate it after I've been away for a bit. You know, I know. I'll, I'll, Hopefully. Come, I'll come with a doctor's note next time. Hopefully you'll be back sooner rather than later this time. <laughs> that would be best. But we'll take it as it comes. Okay. So see you later, guys. See you.